So far in our projects, we've just taken Microsoft Project's defaults for time, working time, start time, duration of a week, duration of a day, and a month. Now these are all controllable variables within Microsoft Project. Now if we want to change them, then we go to File, Options, Schedule, and here's our control of what day of the week the week actually starts on. And the default is Sunday. And you can see if you look in the Gantt chart here that your week starts on a Sunday. See that Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then there's the thicker line before the next week starts. The fiscal year starts in January. Again, we can control that. The day starts at 8 a.m and finishes at 5 p.m. Now, the thing that you don't control in here, and we will control in the calendar, is the lunch break for an hour. So although the day starts at eight and finishes at five, there is an hour of non-working time within the middle of that day. If your start and finish time needs to change globally for the whole project, then you would do that here and say, well, let's make our start time now 7 a.m. and we'll finish at 6 p.m. How many hours are there in a day? Now, if you actually enter a task as four hours, then it's four hours long. If you enter a task as half a day, then it's this value here that determines how many hours half a day is. And it may be that your working days are not eight hours long, they are seven and a half or seven. And you need to work to those exact variables because when you're calculating the work costs, it could make a difference that extra half hour a day. Now, to change these values after a project has already been created, as ours has, with its durations, with its assignments, will cause all the project lengths to change because the calculations have now been taken place on an eight-hour day. So one day task lasts eight hours. If we now shorten our working day to 7.5 hours, which is fairly common, then our tasks will take longer than a day. Only half an hour longer than a day, but they will take longer than a day. So there's not really a value that should be edited once a project is created. But we like changing the norm. Now you'll notice that the up and down arrows only go up an hour at a time. But we can soon change that by typing in the 0.5. Now the hours per week is how many hours per week. So if somebody puts a task in as one W, which is a week, it converts that back down into hours so that it can work out the working time. And it will assume a week is 40 hours long. Well, if a day is only seven and a half, a week can't be 40. And in fact, our working week would need to become 37.5. How many days in a month? So if we enter MO, so one MO, two MOs, it converts that into a number of days, in this case, 20. And then it will convert that 20 into hours by doing 20 times 7.5. So how long is our working month? Well, let's leave the default as 20, which really equates to four weeks in a month. So it's not essentially a calendar month. If you're thinking calendar months when you actually put a duration in, try to convert that more into weeks and days rather than entering MO for months. So these defaults control the current project. If you were to change that to all new projects, then it would change not only this project, but all the projects from now on. Let's see the effect on leaving it on my bedroom and the fact that I've now shortened the day by half an hour and the week by two and a half hours. OK, and you can see the durations of our tasks have now gone up slightly. So it's 3.2 days to move out the old furniture rather than three. 2.13 to hang the wallpaper. Anything we entered as hours stays because we haven't said that an hour is less time. An hour is now 50 minutes. We've controlled how long a day is by changing it to seven and a half. Anywhere we've specified a day, previously that was calculated as eight hours. So we're now shortening the day to seven and a half. It has a knock on effect to all your tasks. So that's why the default assumptions there must be entered on a new project at the start before you start entering any tasks, any durations, and certainly any resources and assigning those resources. So that's done in a new project under File, Options, Schedule and change these variables here. If it's a default you want to change for all projects from now on, then change this little drop down to all new projects, make your changes and then OK. And all new projects will then revert to your new default settings for the working week.